Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Now, friends, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is pretty epic, so let me show you what we got. Friends, we have got another fantastic project from Dawnfish. Oh my gosh, this is from the game called The Long Dark. And this is Dawn's rendition of one of the pickups he thought was cool on Great Bear Island. Oh my gosh, this is cool. I'm going to shut off the notes and I'm also going to click down here on the settings and I'm going to change the background color. I'm going to turn on a dark gray just to make it look a little cooler and check that out. This ride was totally built from scratch in Tinkercad. So many fun details and as it was being built, Dawnfish shared images on the Tinkercad community discord. It's so fun to watch users start a project and end up with a sweet final version. All right, so let's fire up those notes and see just what Don has shared. So these trucks are pretty cartoony, but if I had to guess, it reminds me of a Toyota Land Cruiser Series 70 mixed with a 90s Ford F-Series. Auroras do still happen, and when they do, the long-dead electronics will come back to life. The lights will come on, illuminating the dark. That's pretty cool. If we click on hide, we can actually see in the engine so we know what we're talking about. So car batteries, now useless, can be harvested for scrap lead to be crafted into bullets for ammunition. The engine, I'm assuming it's an inline four, given the bad textures, I only made things I could recognize. Performance, you can't drive them, so no, that's awesome. One fun fact, I did get to see the image that Dawn was basing this off, and I have to agree, that's as clear as the image made the engine look. Real quickly, I'll bring back the hood. Let's move back this way. Glove boxes, they can be looted. You can find flares, ammo, food, water, clothes, etc, etc. It is always good to search these. Another fun note, Aurora's when they do happen, the long dead electronics will come back and the radio will play music if it's turned on. That's sweet. Why is this turned but the wheels are not? Another reason you can't drive. Guess everyone yanked their wheels so hard it broke the steering shaft. All the vehicles in Great Bear have a manual transmission. Gonna guess a four speed would be cool if you could shift into neutral and coast. As we look up here, note visors, yes they exist. You can flip them up and down to block the sun. You can sometimes find mementos and notes left behind. That's cool. Once again, we mention that mysterious Aurora. All electronics are rendered inoperable, but vehicles serve as a shelter from the cold and wildlife and give us loot. Of course, friends, just a reminder, this is all on Great Bear Island, a fictional region of Canada. It is isolated and cut off from the mainland, wondering if this is the only region affected. This note goes underneath. Notice this truck is a 4x4. I found one that was flipped over, and yes, that's a drive shaft connected to the frame Ask the devs, lol, that is awesome. Really cool thing to spot, Dawn. As we spin around, just noticing the awesome trim. Check out the tailgate. And finally, we've got one more note over here. Let's zoom in. Fuel covers, you can pry them off. That's all. Can't siphon gas, which is very odd. Friends, I'm gonna shut off those notes once again, and I just wanna take one more look at this. Oh my gosh, so many cool details. Check out that interior. Don't forget when you're in Tinkercad, you can hide items to make it more clear. Love the seats, love the shifters. Oh my gosh, even mirrors on the side. What a fun vehicle. And once again, Dawn, your tribute to the long dark pickup truck is fantastic. And thank you so much for sharing. Friends, remember in Tinkercad, if you ever make something awesome like say you complete my f1 car tutorial if you make an epic version you can share it with me so easily you click this button 
generate a link, copy that link, and you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options don't work for you, don't forget you can also visit my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories, and below that, lessons for absolute beginners. And extra bonus friends is down here. I have got a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or share link, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to recommend the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, don't forget we have a link to the Designer Showcase. This is a designer directory with tons of amazing designers. When you click on the user's profile, you can see all of their amazing designs. Of course, if it's one of my designs, there is likely a tutorial at the top. It also makes my day if you take time to give it a reaction. I do, of course, also want to remind you that it is super cool to sort by recent so you can see what the users have been creating lately. Finally, friends, don't forget if you click up here on the gallery, you can see the latest staff favorites and then finally click on recent to see what people are making right now of course if you think something is amazing make sure you click on it and give it a reaction friends as i wrap up this episode of tinkercad tv i just want to say thanks again to dawnfish oh my gosh so cool that you find a game you enjoy and then you take time to create your very own tinkercad versions of things in the game absolutely epic and thank you so much for sharing finally friends of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching Happy